to What's Right with the World with your host, Glenn Ambrose. Hello, welcome to the podcast. Here we are back again talking about what's right with the world. So this time, this episode, what we're doing is we're talking about random acts of kindness, which is good. This is... uh, So... should we put the word laughter into this title too? Because I can't do a podcast without laughing. To you want degree. it to be what's right with the world? Ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's right with the world slash laughter. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, so anyway, yeah, we're talking about what's right with the world and we are talking about random acts of kindness. So, um, I'm going to, in a moment, I'm going to flip it over to Ben and he's just going to throw some things out there that have been in the news recently. And um, we can, we can kind of take a look at how easy it is for people just to throw some kindness out there and, and all the ways it's happening around us. So hit it. One of my favorite <laughs> stories uh, that we've shared <laughs> is um, a Chicago cop. This is from the Chicago Tribune. Um, a Chicago cop could have arrested a teen who kept repeatedly sneaking into a gym, but instead he bought the teen a membership to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, and then we have a, um, I'm just going to rattle off a couple. Uh, Chris Long of the Philadelphia Eagles, formerly of the New England Patriots and um, a couple other teams, uh, is going to end up donating his entire salary this year. Um, to charities uh, for education in the communities in which he's played football. And that's more than 50 grand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, I'm, that's from the New York Times. Um, and I'm actually not sure what the, what the total is, but it's, it's millions. It's, yeah. um, he, well, it's a million. He's, he's said to make a base salary of a million dollars. So, um, that's that's incredibly generous. Uh, one of my other favorite stories, a kindergartner, um, this is from Fox 17 Online, in, uh, and this is in Michigan. A five-year-old Michigan girl um, was in school and noticed that some of her classmates uh, didn't have money to afford milk for snack time. So she went home and told her mom and broke her piggy bank because piggy bank because she wanted to uh, to pay for the lunch. So her mom um, set up a GoFundMe page, and um, it was going to cost about one hundred and eighty dollars a month for all of the kids to have it, and uh, they've raised just a ton of money. Wow! So the, and those those are all little things, and you know, every once in a while, and now that we're talking about this, see, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to spark our minds about not only what we can do moving forward, but where this stuff is all around us, and when we hear of it. And what I just thought of was I've seen on Facebook some of my friends, um, some people that I've gone to high school with, you know, thirty thirty five years ago. That, that their kids are doing some of this stuff. You know, I've seen them go, um, and I, I'm not going to get the specifics right, so I'm not going to try. But I remember um, one of the, my friend's children has, instead of getting birthday presents, they wanted to receive things like, um, like books to donate to a hospital for a children's ward or something like that. You know, and it, like, so instead of getting birthday presents, that they're that they're doing these these acts of kindness for society and for other kids and stuff and and I've seen that several times you know just in my circle of friends about their children doing things like that so it's you know we can see it in you know so sometimes it's kind of a version of ignorance is bliss sometimes with kids because they haven't been on this earth and and taken in as much negativity as adults have for so many years. So sometimes they'll see a problem and they'll just be like, I want to help. And they don't know, you know, all the reasons why, all the negative reasons why they shouldn't. So they just do, you know, and that's, that's what the beautiful part of this stuff is, is, you know, seeing the kids do it because actually they're right. We're just, 
you know, tainted by all the negativity that we've, <laughs> you know, seen. So, so we can use them as examples because it's their nature to just want to help. Oh, look, I see a problem. How can I help? You know, whereas a lot of adults will go, oh, look at the problem. Well, I can't do anything to help. You know, so we need to start shifting that. And kids are a great example of how we can see that. You know, and oftentimes we give professional athletes and musicians and movie stars a bad rap for, for the negativity that's out there. But, you know, they're, they're also doing some good for this world, too. You know, like Chris Long donating his salary and stuff. And, and as I mentioned in the last episode, J.J. Watt raising all that money for the hurricane. And, it, you know, this, this, it, those are just simple examples of this happening everywhere. And it's you had a story about um, a homeless person too, right? What was that? Yeah. Um, so this is from the BBC. Um, a man was walking down the street and saw a homeless man walking around with no shoes on. Um, so he gave him his shoes, and then he took a picture with the homeless man, um, with the homeless man wearing his shoes and him having no shoes, and uh, he just said, "Pass it on." Right, pass it on, and uh, and he got Facebook comments and messages of people doing nice things all around the world. Wow! So, so the, the, and that's how it starts with one person, and that's why we're putting a spotlight on this because we we put the spotlight on it, and then somebody goes, "Oh, I could do that," you know, and then they do it, and then somebody else does it, and somebody else does it, and this is how we raise the level of love in this world. You know, that's what's really going to. You know, that's what's underneath all this stuff is it's bringing love into this world. It's random acts of kindness, random acts of love. So it's going to raise the level of love. And when we all start loving each other and doing good for each other and, you know, that type of energy, that's what's really going to shift things in this world. You know, it's it's not going to be by uh, by passing a particular law <laughs> that all of a sudden somebody, everybody's going to start doing the right things, you know? It's just we have to be out there and start doing the right things. So so that is that's the show. And again, a quick a quick shot at positivity, letting you know what's right with the world. Check out our Facebook page, uh The Great Love Project. Uh that one's been up for a while. So this is where we're sharing the daily news stories um of this nature. And we'll be coming back with you each week with more of this positivity on different subjects. So thanks for listening. We'll talk at you soon. Glenn is available for life coaching sessions in person or via phone and Skype. To book an appointment or for more information, go to glennambrose.com, follow him on Facebook and Twitter, or click the link in the description of this episode. 